Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today we are going to be doing part five, the very final part of this 50 pound box from Shop Goodwill. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but this is the last of it. There's quite a bit of craft in the bottom of the box. Um, I went ahead and pulled out the, the craft pieces that I could see right off the bat. These, I have sold these in a lot before, but I don't think I'm interested in doing that right now. And there's just some, this is very light. This would have been neat, except this is broken and there's lots of other pieces on this necklace that will be great. The same as this. There's just a lot of broken, but still neat pieces to these that will go into a craft lot. Okay, how are you guys doing? Thank you for staying with me through this 50 pound box. It's, there's been some great things in the box. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with it. So I've noticed this right off the bat, this huge ring. It says Astros 2005. National League, National League champions. Okay, I don't know if this is just like a souvenir piece. It's really heavy. We've got this really wide cheetah print bangle bracelet. This is wide. It's a chunky piece. Okay, we have J. Crew. Let's look because a lot of the times there it, there is some darkening and that does happen in these J. Crew pieces, but it looks like it's mostly up here at the top. A little bit of scratching. All of the rhinestones are there. Oh, the husky's going to talk to us now that I'm recording. She's been sitting quiet for so long and I start recording and she wants to talk. All right, okay. okay. She was letting me know it was time for dinner. All right, we have a bracelet here. Right away I can see that there's fading on this clasp, but, but there is some markings on here. So let's look with my handy dandy little Okay, SU-925, Italy-925, it's a nice thick chain bracelet. I'm wondering, okay, it's either all not sterling silver and it's just like fake markings, which, which that happens, or someone added this later on. I don't see. Well, the only thing we can do is test it and find out. It might all just be a fake. I mean, we do have to be careful in this, um, the jewelry business because there's so many fakes of everything. Okay, I'm scratching the clasp. and the chain, and let's see. Okay, interesting. So it is, 
it is silver. It is sterling silver. I think that the original clasp must have broke and they added on a just a regular lobster clasp. So the bracelet is sterling. The end caps here are sterling. This clearly is not. So for anybody that can knows how to just take that off and add a sterling clasp, this is a nice bracelet. It's, it's a thick one. So we will see about that. That's, that's interesting. I'm glad I tested the rest of the piece. Right away, I can see the silver tone on this is really good. It is shiny. It looks new. We have a Monet. A really, really nice silver tone Monet necklace. Okay, this is heavy. This is a chunky link gold tone fashion piece. No brands or designer marks. The gold looks to be in good condition. Okay, so is this a, oh, what is this? Is this a blue coral? What is this? This is, it's light. It's not a stone. It doesn't look like a wood. There is definite texture. Let's look at it. Kind of looks like coral. Is there a blue coral? Look at that. Huh. I'm definitely going to have to do some research on this one. I have not seen a blue coral, but for some reason that's that's what that's what that looks like to me. has the vintage barrel clasp. Okay, let me know if you guys know what that is or if, what you think it is. Do you think it's coral too? Ooh, there's some pretty elements on this necklace. I'm not seeing a clasp. It's long and heavy. These are glass pieces. This feels like a well-made piece. Let's double it. Definitely can be doubled. There's a gold tone and hue over these glass beads. And then kind of like a smoky gray blue. Pretty, it feels like a nice piece. We have an art glass leaf pendant necklace. The ribbon and the cordage in black. Pretty colors in there. It's a good size pendant too. It looks to be about three inches long. This looks interesting too. Okay. This is giving me tribal vibes right away with the, the leather part that goes on the back. All of the elements in here look like natural elements. We've got wood. And then what do we have here? Kind of looks like African trade beads. 
they have that really um, rough, raw look to their beads. This is this wood. I was thinking wood, but then it almost has like a hmm. It's a very heavy piece. It looks like a piece that maybe um, a, a man would wear. That's pretty cool, actually. Got some bling. Have an adjustable looks like a necklace or a belt looks like it could be either rhinestones Let's see if they're all there it looks like it so far I think that you could do a lot of different things with this piece. I almost feel like it would be really pretty as like a an accent on a pair of jeans or, and it's big enough because you could pull it, or as a necklace. Pretty elegant piece. Oh my goodness. All right, what a thing to be in the box. I don't know why they thought that should be in a jewelry box, but here we go. Looks like a pencil topper or something. Okay, this looks like a Native American hay sheet necklace. This is three strands. I have never seen a three strand one, but it has the old the old hook clasp, you could tell that the cordage is old. I think this is a vintage piece. And Heishi is not only the ground shell or stone, the small little beads. Okay, that is me. A lot of times these are sterling silver, so let's let's Test it. Ooh, shoot. Hold on. My tripod or my phone is falling. Okay, I think we're good. That was like a slow fall. Okay, I'm going to test the hook and I'm going to test over here. Yes, it is. Okay, this is a cool piece. This is a really cool piece. Both of them are. And um, these vintage Native American necklaces can go for a good amount. So I will look up the three strand. I've never seen a three strand. And that should be a pretty good one. It's a great thing to have in this box. This is lighter. It feels like maybe this is acrylic pieces. The silver tone on this is really good. I think it is acrylic made to look like stone. It's nice. It looks nice. Yeah, it's a super cute necklace. Looks 
looks like we have an Avon necklace here. What does that say? S H A. This looks like an Avon tag, and a lot of times Avon has different designers, but I'm thinking it's Avon. Okay. Oh, the light didn't turn on. I forgot to turn the light on. Oh, how cute. It says mom. So we have a little silver tone mom necklace. Doesn't feel extremely heavy. Feels a little on the light side, but it's a cute little fashion piece. Silver tone looks good. here got it we have a rhinestone cross necklace really unique chain on this necklace and a nice hook and I did see some markings on the back what does that say N E R. N E R. Pretty rhinestones. Very nice setting on this. Look at the tall setting. It feels like a nice piece. Doesn't feel cheap. Let's see. Hmm. Let me look at the, the clasp. Oh my goodness, the puppy's up on the side table. I'm gonna test it. No, I don't think so. Oh, we're really close still. That's okay, we're gonna really get to see it. Nope, that is not. It is not, that dissolved really quick. It's a cute fashion necklace. Cross necklace. Have a long, am I out? Okay. Ann Taylor, silver tone looks good. It has like a fringed bib here with little crystals on it, it looks like. It's a little bit of a tangled mess though. see if I can get it to lay right. This is long. I'm not going to be able to get this all in the shop. And it kind of goes, graduates in. It's pretty. It's a pretty Ann Taylor piece. That would be cute for a night out. We have a dainty gold chain with a beaded pendant here. 
Oh wait, is it upside? Oh, okay, it was the wrong side. But you can see that it's almost like um, a woven beaded pendant. Pretty purple rivoli crystal in the middle. Kind of a brassy gold tone. Kind of looks like a vintage chain. What does that say? It looks like an M. Is that Monet? I know Monet has quite a few, quite a bit of different hang tags. Hold on, that says something else. I love my new toy. I can't, I can't with this. What is that, an NS? I gotta really be sure that I don't have anything underneath my nails with this magnifying glass. I was out gardening earlier. It'd have been really gross if I had soil. Good thing I'm a obsessive hand washer. Okay, that, does that say 9K? Hold on. I am trying so hard to see what this says. No, it's an NS, I think, or SN. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Tell me if you guys know what that hang tag is. I love you guys. Help me so much. I swear I've been doing this for so long, it seems. And still, it's like every time I do an unboxing, I learn something new. It's just an endless, an endless amount of things to know when it comes to jewelry. All right, we have Fleur de Lis and Cross Necklace. Nice, chunky, kind of like an antique silver tone on this. Looks good. There's no brands on it. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. This is definitely a vintage necklace. This kind of dark cream color reminds me of a celluloid. Doesn't feel like glass. Maybe it's glass, no. I think it is a It's not heavy enough to be glass in my opinion, but it is a little bit cold. I think it's a celluloid. It's a really cute vintage necklace though. I'm gonna have to move a little quicker as we're never gonna get through the last bit of this stuff. Okay, we have a gold tone bangle bracelet with panther heads. I think the puppy's dreaming. He's doing a low growl in his sleep. Okay, it's a neat little hook clasp. Don't see any brands on that. We have a choker necklace here with a really pretty dainty feminine bib there. It's the one that you would just open up, put around the neck, and then this would just fall right under. Little black glass beads. Cute. Have a 
have another, this, the, the chain on this looks kind of dark. I don't think that's what it was originally supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be like a brass tone. Kind of has a copper tone now. We have an Anne Klein necklace, silver tone. It's a long one with faux pearls, kind of like an open bead and little glass pieces. This is a cute Anne Klein. The Anne Klein pieces I've found that do the best are the matte gold pieces. Those do really well. All right, genuine leather, hot topic. It's like a dog collar necklace. This is like a rocker, spikes, okay. I think maybe somebody made this. We've got a magnetic closure, pretty iridescent beads. And then the pink ribbon domino tile. I have a vintage beaded bib. It's a small bib, kind of a really neat style on that with cobalt blue, bright cobalt blue seed beads. It's an artisan piece. We have a strip, stretch bracelet, acrylic, chunky, peacock colors in silver. This is heavy. Heavy, chunky, hematite tone. No designers. Kind of has a textured And then this, oh, it looks like we're missing a couple of the crystals here in the front. We have a couple more. That was a cute piece. Looks like a glass bead, almost like an artisan glass bead necklace. This one's really long. Let's see. I'm going to triple it. I'm tripling it just to show, but ideally, I think that you would be able to double it. Kind of like a smoky Aurora Borealis. Pretty sparkly beads. A versatile piece that you can layer. Oh my goodness, this is so long. I have never seen a chain like this, this style, this long. Let's look for marks. Don't see any marks. The silver tone looks good. That would be awesome if this piece was sterling silver because it's so heavy and long. It'd be such a substantial piece, but I think it's just a fashion piece. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, we have what looks like a vintage necklace, but I don't think it's super old. The, the endings here don't look super old. Box clasp, box chain, I mean. 
could be a piece from India. Feels like a stone, it's cold. We have a little faux pearl, glass faux pearl. Don't see any marks. What is this? It's a Hershey's Kiss. It's heavy. I'd say it was a pendant. Oh. It just got really windy. And it's scaring my pup. Oh, hold on. Okay. The wind has started to, decided to pick up. Looks like we have a Hershey Kiss pendant. It is very heavy. Yeah, there we go. These are pretty crystals on this bracelet. Don't see any marks. This is a big piece. Statement bracelet, hematite tone. We have a vintage Mickey keychain. No, not too vintage. What is that, 2000? Two thousand six. So that is not quite vintage. Okay. It's older, but it's not quite vintage. Vintage is at least 20 years. I've seen recently where someone said 25, but all along I um, it was 20. Who knows? It could be 20, 25, but it's got to be at least 20 years, I think. Really heavy peach glass faux pearl. This is brand new. Magnetic closure. I don't see any any brands on here, but that's a nice heavy piece. Oh, we have a couple more of these stone stone necklaces. We had the sodalite one in either the box before this or the one before that. So we have this red stone and then this peach stone. And they're long. This, these are ones that you would layer with something else. Excuse me, mister. Okay, this reminds me of the old jelly shoes. It's that bendable plastic and it's the clear and it has like a hematite chain over that. This is vintage 80s. Whoa, this is, this is nice. This feels like a designer piece. It is super heavy, really beautiful quality on this silver tone. It almost looks like maybe it's uh, rhodium plated. It's so bright. Look at the interwoven chain links. This is a really heavy piece. Let's look at the marks. I'm not seeing any really nice snake chain tassel. It just feels really nice, this piece. I didn't see any any marks on it. Let's test it. I don't want to ruin it because it's so. Let me try to do it in a inconspicuous spot. No, I don't think so. It's very 
um, copper tone on that scratch. I do you think there's some sort of plating over, but not silver? Not a silver plating. Could be a rhodium plated. That's a beautiful piece. Looks like we have an ornament. Follow your dreams, little dragonfly, silver and gold tone. That's cute. A gold cuff has a double double wire wrap here with faux pearls, but that's cute on. Simple, but that's how it would sit. You could squeeze to adjust. No brands. Ooh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. This is another one where the silver tone looks so good. That it doesn't even look like it's been used. What a pretty, dainty little bracelet. This is another one where you could pull to adjust so it fits multiple size wrists, faux pearls, rhinestones. Super pretty. Oh, we have another one of these bracelets. I believe that there was one similar to this in the box, not box, but the, the bunch that we pulled out before. And these are jade. We have a gold bead cha-cha bracelet. They're called cha-cha bra bracelets because of the sound that they make. It's on a gold chain. It has little crystal beads also. And two lobster clasps. We have some square, silver tone square. Hold on. Max, do you have to squeak your toy right now? Okay, I think that's all of these. Might have to push pause while he plays with his squeaky toy. But so we have a bunch of square bangles. And don't think that there is a brand in here. Those are cute though. Okay, we have big kind of a hammered textured um, texture on here of these links and then a fabric two spring clasps this is 80s 90s cute with this the really dark antiqued silver roses on oh that's a lucky brand okay so we have oh darn it there is quite a bit of wear on this back clasp and I don't think that's something that can be Polished up. Let's see real quick, but I think that is not like a tarnish, but an actual fading of the silver tone. But let's see. Yeah, that is, um, that's the silver tone kind of fading off, which is a bummer because it's kind of a cool little bracelet. Another bracelet. This one has crosses. These metal pieces are heavy. 
This looks like an older piece. On like a leather band. All right. Zachary. This one is big. Let's make room. Let's make room. This is going to take up a lot of room. Really pretty red color on this multi layer. Am I out as far as I can? Yeah, I'm out as far as I can be. I would call this a cranberry red. And it feels like, if not glass, it kind of feels like a cross between wood and acrylic. Right. Cute little, it looks like a little soda light bead down here. Let's see. Sounds like glass. Pretty piece. Oh, this is cool. So we have copper, we have brass, and then we have an abalone inlay in this dragon. That's super cool. Super, super cool. Let's see. No, I don't see any marks. A neat piece. The rhine silver tone rhinestone bracelet. I think it's a painted wood. That's what it feels like, at least. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. Really pretty rhinestones in a an aurora borealis. Oops. Is that missing one? No. Nope, it's not. Oh, that one is. Okay. There is a missing one right there. I think that's the only one, though. That's a fun, that is a super fun bracelet. Oh, we have pretty hearts and what look like little crystals. Okay, this, this is different. There's like two clasps. What does that say? It says something. Kind of looks like an Avon piece. Yep, it's Avon. Weird that there's two. I wonder if somebody had to add a clasp to make it. So you could definitely take that off if you needed to make it shorter. Oops, where is it? Pretty little crystals though, hearts. Kind of like a tennis bracelet style. Okay. Gold tone links, toggle clasp, kind of like a matte gold tone on this. Oops, was I even showing you? A little bit of fading up here on this top link. A little bit of discoloration right there. 
in over here. So the condition is okay. Still, I had to look really close to see that, but yeah, it's heavy. It feels like a quality piece. You got a vintage acrylic necklace. A molded design here. This is a pretty heart bracelet. Does that say best? I think that says best. Or Bex, what does that say? Yes, best. Okay, I have seen that. It's kind of like, um, they make different, um, I can't, I can't think of it, but I have seen that before. This is a nice heavy piece. It's substantial. It's not cheap. Cute heart bracelet. Okay, we have an evil eye on a gold chain bracelet. I don't see any any marks on it, but there's that. All right, double strand. Once again, somebody added a magnetic closure. The original tone was a dark hematite tone, purple acrylic, and it looks like there could be some dyed stone chips here. That's a chunky one down at the bottom. Getting down to it, the bottom of this 50 pound box. Whoa, I didn't think we were ever gonna get through it. It's a cute little bracelet. Is that a bracelet or an anklet? It could be an anklet. Double strand with the faux pearls and the gold links. It's kind of on the light side. It's a cute little fashion piece. It's adjustable, so I think it could be worn as a bracelet or an anklet depending on the size of your ankles. Little sodalite chip. Oh, I thought that was a magnet. <laughs> I was trying to pull apart. It's not a magnetic closure. It's a little stretch, stretch bead. Okay. This is an acrylic stretch. Cute little white flowers, silver tone. Stretch and looks and feels good. All right. I wanted to say glass at first, but this kind of looks like a stone. Stretch is good, even though the elastic is starting to dark, darken a little bit. Oh, it might be a little bit loose. This one's gonna eventually need to be restrung, but Definitely looks like a stone to me with glass bead accents, but I know those other little beads kind of look like they have a tarnish on them too. Okay, I'll test that after because I'm sure we're getting, getting along on this video and I'll let you know, but that looks, looks like it could be sterling beads and stone. This also looks like stone with little gold accents. That's a good, that's a good stretch on that one. 
Oh yeah, what is this? Definitely a stone bead. Okay, this looks really interesting. Oh, it it's, still has a tag in it. What does that say? Contessa Cuff? Made in India. What is this? Let's get in closer. Okay, it doesn't have like a designer name on there. Feels like leather on the inside. And the sequins are kind of threaded to almost look like a feather. Oh, it looks like is there a missing rhinestone right there? This is actually a really cool bracelet, I think. Are we missing a sequin there? Couple flaws, but still cute. Oh, this is all one. Okay. It looks like we have the red, white, and blue with the beads here, and these these kind of look like real pearls. Multi-layer, definite wear on the chain. Look at the pendant. It's supposed to look like an old coin. So this, this was a really neat piece back in its time, but it's pretty faded now. Oh, it's a feather. What? an SF. Kind of looks like an SF. I'll have to look that up. But as you can see, what once was gold tone has faded down into a silvery gold tone. So... Silver tone, marcasites. Looks like an Avon piece to me, but I am not seeing an Avon. There's that. Ooh, we have flamingos. Cute little flamingo panel bracelet. Oh, what does it say? Classic hardware. There is some darkening and marks back here. Looks vintage to me. Okay, we have this quartz, what looks like quartz pendant on a silver tone chain, but there is some darkening. On this chain. Is that a mark or is that a smudge? Let's look. It kind of looks like it could be silver. No, no, I don't see any marks. Okay. It was cute. Still close. Okay, this is either a bracelet or an anklet. 
it looks, oh no, it is not sterling. See, that magnet is really, really helpful. It looked like there was a tarnish on there, but I think it's just an older piece. We have a little pearl necklace here and it looks like it was maybe for a little girl and it looks maybe broken. I'll look closely. Oh, these are so little. It's hard to tell, but I do think those are real. Let's look at this clasp together. I think it says something right there. I might have to break out the, the little one. This takes coordination that I do not have. Oh my goodness. What does that say? What does it say? Oh, it says five eight five. upside down but that says 585 which is a gold a gold mark so I think this was and once again it's broken oh wait 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 I don't think I think this one's fixable I definitely think this one's fixable I think it just came undone I can get a tool and put that back on easily so I don't think this one's broken. I think it just came undone. And I think this is a little girl's pearl necklace. Maybe it could be a choker for an adult, but it does look pretty small. Let's go back out. And I do see it's time to wash my tablecloth. This 50 pound box was very dirty. Okay, I'll have to fix that one. And then we have, we are down to bracelets and it looks like a couple rings and earrings to go through. And then we are done. And I see right off the bat, we have more of these bracelets like we did in that last bunch. And then it looks like we have a couple faux tortoise shell acrylic bracelets. And it looks like we have more of these brass bangles. And a polka dot hinged bangle bracelet that I don't see any marks on the inside, but the enameling looks really good. And the gold tone looks good. We have a little pearl ring. Let's break this out so we can see if there's any marks on this. Oh, it says something there. Nine two five. What well, looks like T H or S U nine two five T H, which would be Thailand. But that is a pretty pearl ring. Probably little crystals on the side, but I will test them after. Let's get a size. It 
size seven. Okay, one more. This is a thin little, little band. Looks like there's little tiny little crystals in there. The inside of this band looks like it, it's gold and the outside looks silver. There is a mark. Nine two five LS. Okay, so it looks like we have a little sterling silver petite. This is very thin ring and then there's a gold plating on the inside. I will test the little crystals like the other one, but this size is a almost a seven. It's, it's right before the seven. That's cool, a couple, couple rings on the bottom of this box. Okay, now we are just left with earrings. So, oh, and some pendants. It looks like we have some pendants. What is this little thing? I don't see holes on this. I don't know what this came off of. It's pretty dirty. That's a cute little ceramic cross. Here's another little star pendant. We got a hair with this group. pendant I think it's weird that it's both on the sides there and there's a hole there all right what else do we got in here oh I see these are beautiful beautiful stone inlay with some opal what do those say Philippines. I thought at first this was in the style of the Native American um, earrings. It's very indicative of Native American design, but this one's made in the Philippines. But it does say 925. But those are beautiful. Nonetheless, they're beautiful, just not as if they were a Native American designer, they would have been worth a lot more. Okay, oh, we got another. Little black crystal drops. Sounds like glass. I don't see any designers on there. Okay, oh, another pendant. This one has quite a bit of fading. Looks like it says Avon on the back, but it's it's very, whatever tone it started off as is not there. Oh, we had a necklace. We had a necklace in one of the groups that this would have matched, but I don't see the pair. We have what looks like, yep, rose, rose quartz, little, that, must have come off of something. Couple other little pendants or that pieces of stuff. That one looks like it could be stone and this is just a gold tone square. So that is it. You did. Am I missing anything? I think that's it. This looks like it would have been cool if I had the match to that. But okay, let's go ahead and pull back my favorites and finally end this 50 pound box. Okay, here it is. Here are my favorites. Love the vintage pieces over here, the necklace and the Monet. And this honestly is probably the best feeling bracelet I've ever felt. It is so heavy and solid and nice. Love the Native American necklace and of course the sterling silver. All of the natural element pieces like always. Um, these are really unique. This bracelet here was not quite testing as stone, but just past the glass. It definitely is not quartz. It may even be just dyed glass and testing a little close to the glass, but in that piece, 
And this was way into the stone, but it was in like three and I'm not sure. So if you guys know what stone that is, let me know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed opening up this 50 pound box with me. And don't forget if there's anything that you would like, you can email me at callymomcollects for you at gmail.com. I answer my emails in the order in which they were received so that it's fair. And yes, thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.